Hi guys, um, Flo here, the consulist. In today's video, I want to take a look at this um, game gear. Yeah, I went through my um, box of shame where I put all the um, abandoned projects and found this. I already worked on this, I think about one and a half years ago and I couldn't fix it. In this video, I recapped it um, so the motherboard, the soundboard and the power board and I only got so far. Yeah, as you can see, the picture is completely scrambled. So it gets all the data, but um, yeah, as you can see, it's all messed up in this kind of blocks. So in today's video, I take another look at this and try to fix it. And now, without any more waffle, let's get started. So over the last year or so, I got a lot more experience and I read up on a few different consoles and I found a really great website, um, Retro6 Wiki. I think it's made by Luke and he also has a um, YouTube channel, Retro6. I will put a link down in the description. And so as I read up on this, I came to the um, conclusion that the um, here, this chip, the video chip is broken. So this is the um, two chip motherboard. And as I read up on the game gear and how it works, I was able to find the replacement chip here on retroreiz.de. I will also put a link um, to their website in the description. It's a German shop. And here I found the replacement chip. I will replace this chip here with this and hopefully this fixes the problem. It's also missing a cap here. Yeah, that was broken. I think this is for the audio circuit. It's not necessarily needed. Yeah, maybe I put one in. I think it's just a filter cap. I don't know. Yeah, but now first let's remove this. I think I will use a little bit of um, low melt solder and my heat gun. I think this is also glued down. Yeah, the rest of this was very hard to remove and there is some kind of um, glue residue. So I'm not sure, maybe this is glued down too. So let me add some flux. So I really want to be careful here not to damage any pads so because I'm not in the mood to fix those. So let's add a little bit of low melt solder. So it was glued down. So that came off very nicely. Let's check the board. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it was glued here. That's still liquid. So now I have to remove all the low mass solder. I use solder wick for that. First a little bit of fresh flux. So let's 
check it. I think there is still a little bit solder left. And do this very carefully, don't press too hard. Then let's remove the flux. It's easiest when it's still warm. And now here is the new chip. What I always like to do is put solder in one corner. here and the opposite they're nice and clean tip it's pretty hot through the viewfinder here you see one here and the other side then you take your tip you see here is the notch, here is the notch on the PCB and roughly align it. I'm happy with that. Then tack it here. So it's on and you can recheck. That looks good. And then to the other side. So final check. Yeah, I'm happy with that. So you can um, solder these individually, but I prefer to just drag solder it. Again, flux. You can never have too much flux. Put the solder on your iron and then one side here. Don't worry about bridges or anything, it's just to solder it in. Here, check your work. That all really ready looks very good. Here too. So now I clean up a little bit. And so if you take your time this, and if you're new to this, I think that shouldn't be too much of a problem to change it. Just take your time. Let's check it. This side looks great. This side looks great. Yeah, that should be it. So I cleaned up a little and I cleaned all the game gear parts the shell, everything. So now I will put it back together and then we test it.
So it's back together. And now moment of truth. So I haven't tested it yet. So the first test is with you. So let's plug it in. And let's put a game in. And now, fingers crossed. Yes! Look at this. It's fixed. So yeah guys, this was a successful fix. I'm really happy because yeah, now I have an original unmodded Game Gear again. Yeah, the, I sold one. So yeah, I'm glad I have this now. So special thanks to Luke from, from Retro6. I put all the links down in the description. So please go and check out his channel and um, Retro6 Wiki, his homepage. It's really great, great stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing if you haven't already. Again, thanks very much for watching this video and I see you in the next one. Bye.